Right. So, this is the newest episode of Hookahs and Nostalgia, and today I have Tatiana. Tatiana, okay. So with this, what we do is we have the hookah, which is right there, and I have a certain type of wine that I think describes the person, right? So for you, which we just took a little bit off, you know, we have white Zippendale. Why did that describe? I picked that because <laughs> it's not dry, but it's not too sweet like Moscato. You did what I'm saying? Like it's sweet, but it's like kind of dry. By that, what I mean is you cool, you real cool, but when somebody gets, you know, when you get mad at somebody, you like mad. So like I said, you know, it's sweet, but it's not too sweet. Cause like I said, you very cool, but at the same time, it seems like when you mad at somebody, you really mad at them. Right. And, you know, it's a real good wine, at least I like it. It's good. You like it? Mm hmm Let me ask y'all something. You know how to blow circles? Oh, no, you don't know how to blow circles? I tried. It didn't work. I'm not a smoker. You know how to do it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I do a little song. You know what I'm saying? But before we start, first off, how are you doing? Like, <laughs> anybody? Like, anytime somebody do this? Like, what you mean how I'm doing? Like, how I could be like, like, so how likewise, you? or you know what I'm saying? Period. Like, like how period. are you? Are you well, good? I'm good. I can I can be okay sometimes. You mad? No, nah, I ain't mad. Okay. You know, just, you know, in between some days be like, you know, off, and other days, I'm happy. You seem joyful now. You seem very happy. I'm right always gonna seem joyful. It's you just sure? me. You sure ain't the alcohol? Yeah. I promise I'm just, it's not. Okay. Ebony, <laughs> you stay over there. I didn't take anything. Sister, how are you? Fine. You're fine? I could be better, but I'm fine. Shots out to sister. She's here as well. You know what I'm saying? She's trying to be quiet, but. I ain't being quiet. Everybody you didn't go for the white. You went for the brown, so I know you. You a thug. White alcohol makes me want to fight people, so I don't drink you. Oh, yeah, we don't want to fight. <laughs> not brown tonight. Mm -mm, not tonight. All right, so let's get straight into it. <clears throat> You say I can ask anything? Ask anything. Here we go. Do you belong to the streets or are you taken? <clears throat> right now, <laughs> I belong to the streets. To the streets. Period. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out. Listen, okay, so. Let me just drink this. You just want that bottle of this. Here you go, huh? Go ahead. Let me get you my right. So, what's. what's What's a, what's what? <laughs> what's what? Do you like belonging to the street? No, I do not. Ugh. So it's so annoying. It's too many people. Too many you know? people. Not like sexually, but just you know, on a talking level, like you know. So let me ask you something. You know how a lot of people have a team, right? Mhm. Mm you know, in my heyday, I might have a team of five. You know, that don't mean you have to be doing it. Just team of five. Right. Certain people for certain things you did. What I'm saying. What What's the most you have on your team? Don't lie, cause I know females. I don't, like a, I don't keep count. I switch up every day. <laughs> Damn. Hey man, but like I, I said, it ain't sexually. You know what I'm saying? Not sexual. It's just I don't. I don't mean you had to drink this drink from the bottle. <laughs> So y'all want to play with me? I ain't saying that. I'm just drinking. So now, so what is my bad? I'm, I'm, I'm talking. Oh, so so what is it? Is it like? Is it like? They all have something you want. Like, is it conversation? Is it? It's sex? Pretty. Is it? One money. Person, one person is sex and money. You know, and the rest is just conversation. You know, like. So you trying to tell me somebody has sex and money but can't talk? Yeah, basically. That's a that's terrible. Very terrible, right? Right? Makes who me you, angry and in inside. Who you be talking to? You need to, you need to. And we live together. <laughs> so sad. That's why I'm sitting up in the lobby. You might need to get that alcohol off the counter. Oh my god. I don't want nobody getting it. If you ever see this. I'm, I apologize. Boy, that threw me off. Let me get me another shot. That fucked me up. I apologize. I apologize. Shit. How does that work? I don't even want to get in that. <clears throat> yeah, you know what I'm saying? It Let me is, say something. Is. So, do you believe in marriage? Yeah. I, yeah? Of course, yeah. 
when the time is right. When the time is right. And how we know when the time is right? We don't know. It just happens. You know? So you never, you never like thought like maybe marriage wouldn't be a good thing. Like you always want to get married. Not always. No. Cause like right now I'm not even thinking about marriage, but you know eventually I feel like it happened. How many kids? Two. Two? That's a great number. Just two. The last person hits that four. That's a lot of kids. They must not have no kids. They must not have ever been around kids. Wait a minute. Who was? Who's him? I stopped drinking. Who was? No, I think they. No kids. No kids. Yeah, exactly. They couldn't have none. Yeah, that because she said four. I said damn. Like that's a lot of kids. Four. That's a lot. Like to deal with on a daily. Listen, nah. one's enough. Mm -mm. One too damn many. Yeah. yeah. She would know. <laughs> <laughs> when I ain't had number one. So, okay, so your thing with relationships is communication then, right? Yeah. You think a lot of um, relationships fail because of communication? Definitely. If there's no communication, then I feel like y'all don't have to listen, you know? Like, communication is key. Definitely. It's key. So let me ask you something. So what if they're not good at communicating? Because there's a lot of guys out there who know how to communicate. How, what, would you, what advice would you give? Just work on it, you know? Like... And why haven't you told that person that? They ain't trying to hear nothing I'm saying. That's the honest truth. But, you know, my advice would just be to work on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that should be something. So what you mean? Like, y'all just sit down and, hey, I got to talk to you. Yeah, just try. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with trying. Even if it don't go the way you're expecting it to go, it's nothing wrong with trying. Like, what if y'all ain't got nothing to talk about? What if y'all been around each You know, you could be around somebody so much, I don't talk about everything. But y'all shouldn't even be around each other like that. You know what I'm saying? You split up every day. Go your separate every day. Go That's to work. True. You know what I'm saying? It should be like that. I mean, but still, if you're with somebody for a long time, you know, maybe it's not, maybe it's not that other person's fault. Maybe y'all gotta do some more things to have something to talk about. You know, if y'all just sitting on each other like, <laughs> like, <clears throat> ain't nobody in the world got an excuse to be sitting up with somebody like that. Nobody. That's weird. I know a lot of people who work with their spouse and go home to their spouse. You see what I'm saying? I can't do that. Mm -mm. You gotta I'm gonna get, compromise. I'm gonna get tired of seeing you for one. But a relationship is compromising. Mm -mm. So what? So what would? How would that person work on it? Cause you, you, I don't know if you told the person to work on it, but what? What would you give somebody out there to help with communication? You don't even have an answer. I don't. <laughs> so how do you want somebody to work it out? What you gotta say, sister? I see you. you <laughs> She done, she done, she done took a hat off, she done stumped the feet, she done stood up, she like, man, this girl. What you got to say, sis? Not necessarily, not necessarily saying communication, it's just based on talking to a person. You might be better off telling me how you feel in a text message, Fast. writing me a letter, or Fast. whatever your verbal, your way of communicating. Email, no, whatever. No. If you send me an email, hey, just let me know you send it so I can go check your damn email, you can see it. <laughs> You have to say that too, because what I realize is I like to talk. I'm a talker, so a lot of people don't talk like that. So if you don't say nothing, a lot of females communicate through text. A few, a few, and I didn't never understand that. Like I could be talking, like, why you, what, what's up? Man? Just shut down, and then as soon as I'm gone, I get like, Redolent, just a text. whole fucking <laughs> thread, work paper, like six sheets. I'm like, why you? So maybe some people move different, you know? Not That's true. Everybody has a different love language and you have to figure out how to Facts. love that person Facts. the way they want to be loved. Facts. And they have to love you the way you want to be loved. You have to figure that person out, man. You can't be selfish like that. What? They can't cater to you. You yes. gotta cater. It's 50-50. But if I'm catering to them, they should cater to me, right? But you might not be catering to them the way they want to be catered to. Mm. And that's what we have to communicate. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. You, did you tell this person that? All the time. So what do you think? You, what do you think? You, oh, <laughs> what a lot of that, man. We need a group hug, man. With you. We need a group hug, man. Don't make me cry. <laughs> okay, Girl, I'm starting to cry, but I'm <clears> not <throat> right. It's a form of communication. You might see this one day. He need to. Oh, talk about me. It's not real. So. So you like being in a relationship or you like being single? I don't want to be in a relationship. I think I have commitment issues though, like. Why? Where did that come from? Some in the past, growing up? Definitely in the past. 
with I think it was with my very first boyfriend. You got to let that go. Yeah. I know it starts with your sister. <laughs> your very like, first one? Yeah. You could have had a boyfriend in kindergarten. Like, you nah. Know, like, oh, what I mean, my life? first real relationship. You apples was... or something? <laughs> you got to let that shit go, man. <laughs> Gotta let that go. Say, I ate my apples. I'm not about to play. Uh, Look, no, for real though. I think it's just I have commi um, commitment issues. I'm gonna tell you this, right? This is when I realized I had to let shit go, right? I was talking to this girl. She was like seven years older than me. Way back in the day. She had a car. She had a crib. She had a job. I ain't had none of that shit, right? And I'm driving. I'm like, not driving. I'm in a car. I'm at the crib and all this shit. And I was so naive, she was just fucking with me because she just thought I had a good head on my shoulder. She just thought I was going to do something. And I was younger than her, whatever. She had a whole boyfriend. Yeah, I didn't even know that. Yeah. That shit hurt though, but she was older than me. I just wasn't ready. I was, you know, I was young, bro. I didn't you know. know. So you got to let that, look, that I shit stuck with me. I can relate. I, that shit stuck with me, like. You know what I'm saying? You gotta let that sticking with me. For real? You gotta let that shit go. I can't let that go, not just yet. How you gonna move forward if you don't let it go? I mean Maybe I ain't ready to move forward yet. Mmm, that's what it is. At least you're being honest, so you still feel you still got feelings. Definitely. So hey, the first step is amendment, so, man. I'm so proud of you. That's a, that's a toast right there, man. You, you know what I'm saying? We don't, you know what I'm saying? We don't broke. We don't, we don't. There you go. You can We don't, we don't, we don't broke some. We don't, I don't we don't. know. I don't know. Maybe I should let that go though. Maybe I should. It's gonna be. Look, you ain't gotta let it. Just use it as a learning lesson. You know what I'm saying? Like use it as a bookmark. It's gonna be hard to let something go until you find something that you really want again. But just learn from the lesson and keep it pushing. Okay, I got a question. Oh shit. Poor guy. How do you <laughs> let me figure out how to ask this question without Just did get to me straight cut, man. I'm s I am I got you. Okay. I'm gonna keep well, it real. Say, Don't say no say nothing. <laughs> Just give it straight to me. I have to explain it from his perspective, okay, you know okay, what I'm saying? Okay, okay. So say that you were in a relationship, right? Right now. Right now. Say okay. that you're in a relationship. And you just all of a sudden say, hey, I'm done with you because I want to be with this person, right? Mm-hmm. You got that, right? Yeah. All right. So you tell this person, hey, I left this person for you. Facts. And then? And then this person just doesn't believe you at the moment. Just at the moment, she just doesn't believe you. Okay. <clears throat> and you take that to heart and you just go on, on your little whole spree. But now this girl is back like, oh, I thought you wanted to be with me. You know what I'm saying like, why aren't we working on us? Like, how do you go about that? Hold up. So I technically I went on the whole spree. Yeah, technically you went on the whole spree. Because you. Because the girl. The didn't girl believe. didn't believe me. Yeah. I'm. A, you want the honest truth the, or you just wanna? The honest truth. Give me the honest truth. This <laughs> white zipping deal. All right, so check this out, right? I'm gonna keep it a butt with you. First of all, I feel like if I was going on a whole spree, me, you, I was already a hoe. But listen though, okay. I, ain't, I, ain't trying to, I ain't trying to sway nobody. This is me. That's why I said you said technically. But if I told you something, I could have been trying to put my hoeish ways aside. Cause this happened for like a, a like a nigga could really be done. Like, right. jerseys could be hanging up, retirement, you know what I'm saying, the streets done gave you all your accolades, the streets love you now. That's like me, okay, that's like me, say sister right there, right? Mm -hmm. Say technically we was talking, I'd be like, listen, you the realest person I ever met, and I get on one knee, will you marry me? And she say, I gotta think about it. What you think I'm gonna do? I'm back in the streets, bro. You're supposed to let her think about it. Go ahead, sister. Get it out. Go ahead, sister. Look, look. See, that's why I said it, because I knew she was going to say something. Go ahead, sis. Just because a person isn't ready in that moment doesn't mean they're not meant for you. And if you take that as, oh, she don't like me like that, or whatever the case may be, and you give, you take that as an excuse to go back and go back to your hoish ways, you aren't ready to be with me no way. And we was going to have issues anyway. But, if that's all it took for you to go back to the street. But you just heard my first answer, right? You was a whole race. Like, just whole exactly. But it makes sense. But I'ma keep it real though. Y'all don't want to get no Fuck it. I'm 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 keep it real with y'all. Cause y'all ain't gonna believe me. I got 
Listen, I got a bunch of female friends. Why? Like my cousins, my, my female cousins, they didn't have no dudes. Like I got a bunch of female friends who come to me and, and ask for advice and shit like that, right? Y'all don't want to hear the truth, but a nigga could love the hell out of you. Real shit, a nigga could love you. Love you to death. Listen, listen. A nigga could love you to death, right? And motherfucking Shanae across the street. He can really just fuck with her. Get his rocks off and not even care about it. That's not true. Yes, it you don't, is. You bro. don't. You listen. And for my eyes, you don't line and dine bitches you don't care about. No, no. Exactly. No, no, so, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Listen, niggas is niggas, bro. You want no. the truth? Mm -mm. Listen. Damn, I hate. I don't even want to be saying all this. But it's possible. Like, let me ask you this. Okay, since we saying that, have you ever? Fuck that. I ain't gonna say you. I want to only put you in trouble. Have you ever known somebody to say a fee? Fuck it. I know a female. <laughs> I don't want to get nobody in trouble. I know a female. She found out her nigga was cheating on her, right? Mm -hmm. Pretty female. Niggas is choosing on her. She found out he was cheating and she slept with somebody just because he's been cheating on her the whole time. She don't care about him, but when the female get hurt so many times, they're gonna want some type of get back, right? She said she was she she was crying when it was happening because she said, like, "Are you good? Are you, the condom on?" Like she was, she was worried. She didn't really care. It's like she wanted to get back, but she didn't like that dude. And a lot of females will do that. They will be with somebody for attention, or they will mess with somebody just because they're hurt. So if you mess with somebody because you hurt, which a lot of females have done, do that mean you like that person? No, you're doing a forget back. So a nigga could be with you and just want to get his rocks off because it's a female. Is that not the same That's thing? Bullshit. So, so you don't know no female who slept with somebody because they got hurt. I mean, I, I did it. Exactly, but did you like that person? We was cool. <laughs> but you didn't like. But, but the only reason was cool. I cheated was because I was hurt. Hey, but niggas will cheat on you just because. Like it don't be like, no hurt at all. Nothing, everything will be going so freaking just, just happy. But my whole point is, fuck that. Okay, niggas is fucked up until we feel like what's going on. But. If you cheated before, that just means it's possible that anybody, like, okay, say you did that because you it was hurt, right? Mm -hmm. What if he did that because... He had cheated plenty of times before that, and he had reasons. Oh, you didn't wash my clothes, you didn't do this, you didn't do that. <laughs> so you felt like anytime I did something to you, it was okay for you to go cheat on me. So, okay, cool. You done but, cheated on me seven times, I'm cheating on you. But, <laughs> but, but what I'm saying is, do that make it right? No, two wrongs don't make it right. But I sat there and tried with you. Every time you cheated on me and you got caught, I was like, okay, so how are we going to change things moving forward? But ask, he ask never changed. But you, you loved him, right? Even when you cheated. Yeah. Okay. No, oh, yeah. Exactly. So that's what I'm saying. Oh, if I she could either. cheat on him, you cried. No. Oh, but if she if she cheated on a guy and she loved him, mm -hmm. a guy can do that in love. Like I'm gonna keep it. Listen, man. I'm tired. Listen. But there's no reason though. Like you saying because he want to get his rocks off. You can get. You can have sex with me and get your rocks off. I'm with like, her on it. There's no reason. Like niggas are gonna cheat just because the sun came up. Let me ask you something. Do you want a dude that's a square, or do you want a nigga that got females? Do you want somebody who got it? If the nigga got it, like if he, when you seen him, it was something about him that you like. So you know every female in the world like. So before y'all get into y'all, we're humans. People make mistakes. The same mistake five to six times. That's my issue. Over and over again, you just intentionally hurting somebody. That's my problem. Like you, you put your rocks off by hurting me. Like that. That's how I see it. At this point, you you just like her. Now, now let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. I, I talked to a female when I did this the very first episode, right? And she told me she began cheating on her whole every relationship. So either it's just how life is, or what's is something wrong with you? It might be. No, it, it, it's happening every single time. It's just, it's just. Have y'all ever thought y'all not niggas? Like, have y'all ever just sit there and thought like? Y'all don't walk around with what we got. Not saying that's an issue, but y'all ain't got this mother. Like, y'all ain't got y'all do the same thing. Y'all ain't walking around with this shit. Like, like, and if it's a if if you were a nigga that females like, like, perfect example. You. Have you ever been at work and niggas just own you, right? All the time. All the fucking time. How many times you could have been in a relationship, right? If a hundred niggas talk to you within a month. Somebody's gonna get your fucking number. 
Never. That's not true. Somebody if I ain't in a relationship, ain't nobody getting my number. Somebody can get your Instagram. No. Yeah, they gonna have to get it from my nigga. So when you in a relationship, you cut all niggas off. Nobody get your number. Every nobody nigga get... is cut off. I don't even look at another nigga. I just can't. Because I'm focused on my nigga. So, so, so. <laughs> what about the old work? Like, what if they the hit you up? Work. The, the past. The past. Ain't no past. Ain't no way. You cut everybody else. Don't nobody hit you. No, out of blue. Hey, what's nobody up? Nobody can text me. Really? Niggas is blocked. <laughs> uh, that's cap, bro. That's not cap. That's the truth. That's how it was when I first got in my relationship. I but, blocked everybody. All right. All right. All right. All right. So say you are true. Say that's right. If something happened to you, okay, if you get, if you get hurt enough time, enough times, your next few relationships, say you got cheated on, right? Seven times, ten times, twenty times, whatever. You get another relationship, you get cheated on 20, 30 times. Your next relationship, you're going to be like, wait a fucking minute. I'm going to have something in the background just in case. I'm not going to go out. See, that's not me. If I okay. get into another relationship and I get cheated on again and again, I'm going to start looking at me like maybe it's something that I'm doing. Maybe it's something that I'm allowing to go on right? that shouldn't be going Listen, on. Listen, let me tell y'all something. This? Listen, I tell my female cousin that y'all got to stop doing that, bro. If you cutting everybody off, it's nothing wrong with you. Like... It might not even be nothing like that. I'm just saying it might be something like it could be like the way I catch your attitude if you do something that I don't like. Like and that might turn you off the point you gotta go have sex with somebody else. Again, I'm not gonna have sex with somebody else. Nothing is an excuse for you to go cheat, because I feel like at that point if you that man you wanna cheat, then be single. Go sit in the corner, you talk to yourself, I'm gonna go talk to myself, then we're gonna come back and communicate and hash things out. But I mean whatever. You want me to keep it real? Again? Please keep it real. Listen. <clears throat> This is for me. Cause I wasn't always, you know what I'm I was, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna keep it real with you. Cause I got female cousins and I got female cousins and I don't, they always call me like, this is not a coincidence. It's a lot of shit going on. Like, if, you, if it happened to her, it happened to you, it happened to friend, it happened to, so this is what I say. How can I put it? Have you ever thought about hurt people hurt people? What that means is... And that could be the case. Exactly. What that means is when I was talking to the... She was bad too. That's what got me. She was pretty. Pretty as hell. I was young as hell. When she had a dude, I start. She had a spot, all that. And I didn't have much. So I liked her off of lust because I thought she was bad. But when she did that, it made me... Like, all right, fuck that. All females like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> so I start hurting people. Good people. But this is what I'm finna say. When it comes to females, it's a lot of y'all that's good. I'm not saying it's good dudes too, but. But well, see, I have an issue with that. I have Go a problem ahead. with that. Just because you've been hurt, that don't mean you run around hurting people. Because you know how that shit feels. So why would you want to do somebody how you feel? Like, that don't make sense to me. <clears throat> nah, what it is, if people don't get closure, like, like. I don't want to say that situation because I don't think about that like that. Like if something happens to you, like say, okay, say, say your dad wasn't there or something like that. You're going to move different because your dad wasn't there. You was hurt, but that don't mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, but then that goes back to what you saying, let that hurt go. Work on letting it, letting all of that go. It's easier said than done because you want to let it go. And you're like, right. <laughs> but I'm saying it goes back to what you said, let it go. But at the same time, me personally, I don't take my hurt and just, you know, don't hurt people just right. I don't hurt people. Well, let me ask you this then. Maybe have you thought maybe you should wait? If if that person listen, 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 this real shit. Now listen. If you really like that person and y'all really going through that, let that person figure their stuff out. Sometimes people gotta figure their stuff out. They're gonna go out there and see a lot of people ain't shit, and then they might come back. If they don't come if they come back, then it was meant to be. How long? Ain't no time. You gotta, if you, listen, it's either, does time matter? Time matters to me. Time matters. Because I'm not going to be sitting around you five plus years. You don't have to sit around and wait for that person. You, you still do, do you, you. And they do them. But what if this person situation. is like, what if this person is like, hey, I don't want you doing this. And if you do this, we're done. That's called a manipulator. Right. And you shouldn't deal with that person at all. Exactly. Right? I, I, don't, I ain't saying nothing, but... <laughs> If a but person see, don't want to give you the same respect that you're giving them, then the relationship's not going to work regardless of how much time or space that person has finding them and getting um, themselves yeah. together. 
All right, I feel like this. Um, obviously, if you do that, you really like this person. So, what I would say is, you either stay there and get hurt, you either leave, or you do you until y'all figure it out. You do know, <coughs> life is long, bro. You got plenty of time. Very. Like, you don't know what's out there until you figure it out. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like. I get that part. I definitely do. You know what I'm saying? Prince Charming could be right there at the door. And then, here's another thing. This is crazy. Okay, when we get to this, what's the first thing y'all look at when y'all see a dude? What's the first thing that catch y'all eye? Nails? Mm-hmm. Oh, I heard that. That's the first. Anyway, then what? What? What you got to say, sis? Hello. So you just see a dude like, ooh, that nigga right there. What's the first thing you see, like? It'd be like they vibe, like how they. They vibe. Yeah, like what they got going on. Okay. So if you see a nigga with some pretty ass nails and look like a fucking horse, you would. <laughs> Yeah, that nigga ugly as hell, but god damn, I ain't got a pet. But I mean, nails is everything to me. You know, nails let me know that you keep yourself up. And then it's not even always about looks, you know. Like, I've dated ugly people. Lord knows I have. Damn, hold up, man. I ain't gonna let you disrespect my boys like that, man. <laughs> they know they're ugly. Ooh. It's okay. Damn. She know they ugly, so. Damn, I like, was just saying, ooh. They were like that. Yeah, but they, they kept themselves up. They was, you so, know. So, you, so, you, so personality? You like personality? Yeah, personality, definitely. So what's what's when you like, say personality? You gotta match. You gotta match me and my personality. Another thing is my place. This is what I this is what I've been preaching, bro. When you talk, say you see that that nigga with them pretty ass nails, right? <laughs> you gotta make sure you're compatible with these people, bro. Like you may That's like true. somebody and you might not be compatible. Y'all might not even like the same thing. Y'all might not even connect like that. So if your issue is communication, out the gate, y'all should be communicating. If you can be you know what? Stop ignoring the signs, bro. The signs is in your face. If y'all on the phone, you like, uh, what you doing? But see, y'all even talking on the phone. You the conversation is like that. You know what I'm saying? We're going to end it short. It's so so if you was talking to whoever and y'all conversation on the phone was dope, why y'all can't communicate? Me and him just complicated right now. I'm going to just I it just out. at last episode. What the fuck does complicated mean? What is complicated? He want to do him and then... It's like an excuse just to say we're going through some things. Yeah, we. Thank you. Thank. At least you kept it real. Everybody <laughs> talking about like, you know we. I'm trying to figure it out. Mm -hmm. That's exactly it's what it is. It's like you real. Like we together You're the first person who just kept it real because I want a real answer. It's like I don't know. It's an excuse. It is an excuse. It definitely is. For a girl to be in a situation that she don't need to be, and it's an excuse for a nigga to be in a situation. You that real is <laughs> hell, bro. You know how I ask somebody like this? Well, you know it's like. <laughs> no, it ain't like that. It's like, you know what it is though. 